Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for you. We'll be diving into PFSense, a powerful open source firewall and router platform, and we'll be installing Squid, a caching proxy server. But first, let's understand what Squid is. Squid is a high-performance proxy caching server. In simple terms, it acts as an intermediary between your local network and the internet. When you request a web page, Squid will first check if it has a cached copy of that page. If it does, it serves it directly from its cache, which can greatly speed up web browsing. Now, let's move on to the installation process. Navigate to System then Package Manager. In the Available Packages tab, search for Squid and click on Install. Confirm the installation process and wait for it to complete. Once installed, go to Services then Squid Proxy Server. Before proceeding with the complete installation of Squid on PFSense, it's essential to configure the local cache size. In PFSense, the local cache size refers to the amount of disk space allocated for storing cached content by the Squid proxy server. This cache stores frequently accessed web content like images, scripts, and other resources locally on the PFSense device. When a user requests a web page, Squid first checks if it has a cached copy before fetching it from the internet. This can significantly improve web browsing speed and reduce bandwidth usage. Customize the hard disk cache size to suit your preferences and consider the available space on your hard drive. It's advisable not to allocate an excessive 90% of your hard drive space to Squid. Begin with a conservative setting. And if you find that the cache frequently reaches capacity, consider either increasing its size or periodically clearing it. Moving on, let's adjust the memory cache settings. This tweak can greatly enhance your speed, but be cautious not to exceed 50% of your total memory. If you have say 8GB of RAM on your system, allocate 2GB. You can fine-tune this value based on your specific setup, aiming for roughly 25% of your total memory. I'm on a virtual machine so we'll leave it at the default. Save the settings when done. Let us now enable Squid. Save the settings to enable Squid. Next, let's add a firewall rule for the LAN network. The interface should be the LAN on the source select LAN network. From destination and to destination enter these port numbers. Save the settings when done. You can now set up proxy on your Windows 10 or 11. Enable the proxy server and enter the IP address of the PFSense and port numbers you configured in Squid. 
checkbox to not use proxy for local addresses. This is a system-wide proxy on your Windows machine that you are setting up, meaning all traffic from your Windows machine will go through the proxy. You can also just set up a proxy inside your browser like in Firefox instead of using the system-wide method. Enter the proxy settings and save them. Enter the subnet of the local area network. If you do this it means no proxy will be used for addresses in your local area network. You can also enable the antivirus in the proxy server if you want. Set Clam AV database update to every one hour to enable Google safe browsing. Set the Clam AV update server to your closest location. Save the settings when done. Make sure to reboot the firewall after you are done configuring the antivirus. Check the status in the service menu. As you can see the antivirus is not running because I have not rebooted the PFSense firewall. And after you reboot the firewall you can manually update the antivirus. If you have problems accessing HTTPS sites, enable Resolve DNS IP version 4 first. Congratulations! You've successfully installed Squid on your PFSense firewall. Remember, Squid can dramatically improve web browsing performance by caching frequently accessed content. It's a powerful tool for any network administrator. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more PFSense and networking tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.